Hello and welcome to your reading for March 2023, Sagittarius. This reading is for all Sagittarius placements. So Sag, I recommend that you watch the Zodiac readings for your sun, moon, and rising along with the March pick a card, which I'll link down below to get a holistic view of your month ahead. So let's get started and let's take a moment now to call in your guides, to call in my guides. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest vibrational frequency, please be with us today to provide the most meaningful, accurate messages for Sagittarius in regards to the month March 2023. Thank you for your clear and accurate messages, spirit, and thank you, Sag, for being here. Let's get started. Oh, my cat says hi, too. <laughs> hi, Emmy. What is going on in March for Sagittarius? Let me take a sip of water. What is going on in March for Sagittarius? What is the main message you want Sagittarius to know about the month ahead? What is relevant past? And what is the potential future in regards to this situation? Can you get some more background information, please, Spirit? Thank you. Oh, card flipped over. And what is an opportunity coming for Sagittarius this month? Interesting. On the bot, this was flipped over, so we're just gonna put this. We'll put this right here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit reversed. Interesting. There's some energy here about. Oh, can you see everything? I'm sorry. Uh, maybe like coming out of your shell, maybe there's been kind of, you've been a little bit in hermit mode, maybe really like studying something, going through some like introspection. And it's kind of time like to come out of <laughs> that situation. We have the universe reversed here. I feel like there's something that is due to come to an end that you might be resisting. This could be totally subconscious, um, but maybe you're aware of it as well. You might be just hanging on to something a little too long, hanging on to some burdens. Because we have here in the relevant past the Ten of Wands, and on top of it says oppression. But the Ten of Wands, like all tens, is like a completion, ready for a new beginning, but it's just like carrying on to all these things. Like maybe you accomplished a lot in the past and that's amazing, but also, you, you know, there's some things that you've just been carrying with you that no longer are serving your current situation, your current life. Some of this could be like old passions, old maybe relationships. It's something you're just holding on to. And a lot of it, I think, is actually going to be um, internal, especially with the hermit reversed right here. Are you hanging on to some old self-limiting beliefs, old ideas that just are kind of no longer serving you anymore? There could be past memories, things that are just kind of weighing you down and are preventing you from moving forward in a new direction. So Spirit really wants you to take some time to look into this. With the Hermit Reverse too, maybe um, there hasn't been enough reflection and enough going in regarding the situation, but a new phase of your life is ready to come forward. I feel like there's like a more abundant phase that wants to come out, but there's like something here that's limiting you, that's like oppressing you, that's stopping you from taking the next step or from like excelling and, and going in a new direction. And for more background information, we have the Four of Cups reverse. The Four of Cups reverse often makes me think of like coming out of your shell and especially with the Hermit, like maybe there's just something holding you back i'm trying to think what and this is luxury reversed on it and this which is an interesting keyword for the four of cups but perhaps there's some limiting beliefs some some conscious thoughts mostly that have to do with like scarcity not f feeling like you don't have enough and this could have been programmed since a young age like in your mind you know thinking that you can't have enough money if you do this or that you know like money is evil just whatever those limiting beliefs are regarding abundance and finances because we've luxury reversed here the world reversed here i feel like your spirit guides the universe are trying to bring you forth like a new like some new abundance, a new beginning. And we, because remember this card was like flipped out. I'm not, it's the four of wands, which is like a celebration card. 
it says completion here too, which also makes me think like there's like multiple cards here that's like spirit wants you to complete something to move forward. And not to like think back on things like it's a mistake or reg with any regrets. Um, look at it as like a learning experience and just take the lessons with you and leave the rest behind and move forward. So we have Prince of Swords reversed and the, the Prince is a page. And this can represent a new beginning of like something you're studying, um, a new like career path, a new hobby. And it's reversed, so I feel like on um, the current path, there's like something preventing you from starting this new beginning. And it what it is, is having to complete something else. And we have the hanged man reversed on opportunities. And Spirit wants you to take the opportunity to shift your perspective on something. That is like all over the spread. Shift your perspective on what you're capable of doing, what you're, you know, it really seems to have to do something with abundance. But there's something here. Spirit wants you to go within. I'm sorry, I just got like a message. I thought my phone was on. Do not disturb. Oh, random fact. I'm just going to tell you guys because maybe this is relevant. On this day, in March 2nd, 1965, The Sound of Music debuted in American movie theaters. That's awesome. My mom just sent me that. We love that. And you know what? Oh, my gosh. Um, like, brown paper packages tied up in string. These are a few of my favorite things. I feel like Spirit wants you to embrace more of what makes you happy. What are your hobbies? What, like, fuels you? What inspires you? And that is a sign of the right path to go on. Because I feel like right now there's something, situation that's just not really fulfilling you, that's like, just feels heavy, not light, not fun. Um, and in order to figure this out, what this is, Spirit really wants you to take a step back, do some introspection, really think about it, and take a look at what limiting beliefs may be um, going through your subconscious mind, or your conscious mind as well, that is preventing you from a new beginning from starting something new. Is there some hobby that you've always wanted to do? Is there some travel that you've wanted to do? Because look, there's some movement here, but it's reversed. So maybe there is something you want to get out there and explore. You are a Sagittarius. I feel like learning something new, um, picking up a new hobby, a new book, something that just really fuels your mind, expands your outlook on life will be super beneficial to you at this time. And bring some passion into your life but in order for these new things to come into your life there's something that needs to let go and what could that be maybe like also with the sound of music I'm thinking about like how you know the kids were raised really strict if you don't know this was like set back like in world war ii times in um is it vienna uh is that the right way to say it? but uh this one man uh, I can't even think of his name. I don't know, but he has a bunch of kids. His wife died. So they have like their nanny come and um, they're like a really strict household because he's like a military man. And then she brings like music into their life and fun and joy, which has been lacking. Um, and that's just like one part of this. I'm not going to explain all of Sound of Music. <laughs> I'm sure most people are aware of it, but just in case you weren't. Um, so I feel like this is about like bringing more fun, more joy, whatever lights you up bringing more of what your favorite things are more like, like I don't know it's something that's inspiring you that, that just feels happy because there's something to let go that's been maybe dragging you down and it's time to take a look within to identify what this is this is a general reading so it is going to be different for everyone um but something's ending for a new beginning to start a new abundant beginning but you need to take the leap to do it there's some action needed for this new beginning so I really do think it has to do with finances or whatever you consider, like, you know, something blocking your abundance from coming in. So let's take a look around here. So we have some wands, cups, swords. We don't have any pentacles. So maybe that is a big thing. Like you don't feel like you have enough abundance. You don't have the resources. Maybe your mind is elsewhere and spirits like if you focus on abundance that could be brought into you. But really, I feel like we have all the cards here. We have two major arcana, which is a big deal, and three if you count the bottom of the deck. And it's just, and then we have this extra card that came out, completion. Yeah. 
how can you bring more abundance into your life? What can you do to spark that joy? And it really seems like the answer is to, uh, you know, do some spiritual introspection, whatever that is, talk to your guides, um, and also put yourself out there. Put yourself out there to do new things, try new things, study new things, expand your, your mind, and it will be really helpful for you. Let's get some more cards, Spirit. Can you clarify and give more information for Sagittarius? What else for Sagittarius? Oh, Kangaroo. Unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. Yeah, there does seem like things have been unsettled. Maybe there's not enough thought looking into like finances and the future and spirit wants you to um, like call your attention to that. So you might be feeling stuck and spirit's like, okay, if you feel stuck, if you feel unhappy in any situation, what can you do to change it? Some action needs to be made in order for changes to come. It's not just going to like, you know, pop out of thin air. Like you need to take the steps in order to bring more abundance, to bring more happiness into your life. And when you take that leap, you know, oh, you have some cards here. Pay attention to your health and dealings or relationship with a man. Yeah, perhaps there's something really heavy weighing on you that is, it's affecting your health. Or it could be in the future, like, and it seems like it might be like mental health. Maybe you're like overworked, you're just not happy in your current field. You're not taking the time to really work on that potentially and spirits calling your attention to that. And what can you do to help with this? Movement, definitely. There's a feeling of lack of movement here in like physically and like, you know, within life itself. So can you incorporate more movement into your routine? Maybe doing some affirmations to help like mentally get this abundance mindset instead of a scarcity mindset. And it seems like there might be someone that comes into your life, a man or who is relevant in your life this month that could help you, that you can reach out to for help. There could also be a man in your life whose health maybe is affected and that's affecting you. Like you feel maybe you've been like a caretaker and you've really been um, watching out for someone like, you know, worried about their health and it's just been a big burden on you. And that's, you've been really just, you know, focused on this other person instead of like your own needs and stuff like that. And that's just really taking a toll on you. Yeah. I feel like the health issue has to do with a man in your life. And I feel like you'll be aware of this and it's just been keeping you worried, your mind worried and just focus on that and not other things, which is like totally understandable. Of course, we care about someone, you care about their well-being and all of that. But spirit wants to draw your attention to also care about yourself too and make sure you're being cared for. Um, what can you do to bring more of that into your life? Spirit wants you to start incorporating some self-love and some self-care time to ease any of this um, this worry and these burdens related to this like family member or whoever in your life's health issues. It seems like there is going to be some completion of this. Things will get better. Um, I feel like spirits is really drawing your attention to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and doing things for yourself as well and getting outside movement and just being open to new opportunities and a new perspective. And I feel like there's something closing here that you're going to have more time for yourself soon. So Spirit wants you to plan ahead for that. Let's get one more of these. What else, Spirit? Advice from a friend. Yeah, I feel like spending some more time with um, your friends will be really good for you, talking to them about what's going on, just letting loose, having a little bit of fun, because there's this energy of feeling like lonely. I feel like there's like you've been dealing with some health thing with someone else, and it's just been taking up your time, and like, you know, you're so focused on their needs, and you haven't been able to talk about yourself, what you like, what you enjoy, and Spirit wants you to spend some time doing that, doing things you love. What are some of your favorite things? Can you bring more joy, some more music into your life? That could really help this other person too. Like the more joy you feel, like it rubs off on the people around you, you know? 
But yeah, I feel like spirit's just trying to prepare you for the next phase of life and make sure you're like doing things for yourself. Let's get some more cards for Sagittarius, please. Inspiration, Mercury and Pisces. Is Mercury in Pisces right now? I think so. Um, if not, it's like, moved. I think it moved. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think Mercury moved into Pisces today, the day I'm filming this. You're about to feel a lot more inspired, Sag. Like, I feel like there's just been something dragging you down, something taking up a lot of your energy. And soon you're, look at that fire, like that is going to happen. I just want to look really quick. I know, I just feel like this is a big sign right now. <laughs> Let me get my... Okay, today is, look at that. Mercury's going to Pisces tonight. I feel like you're about to be really inspired by something. Things are about to change. So, and I feel like there has to be like some step on your part to like be inspired, like try something new, learn something new, call up a friend, do something a little different with your routine. And that's going to be inspiring too. And really help with your mental health and just like everything in general. And yeah, that's really starting now. I love that. Okay. What else? Spirit for Sagittarius. Ooh. Appreciation. Moon in Leo. Look at that. She's like playing music. Maybe like feel like bringing more music into your life, playing music if you do that. And look, this is like a cornucopia, is that what they call it? I don't know, but like abundance. I feel like there's a lot of abundance too. And I feel like spirit and like people around you really appreciate everything you've been doing, all like the effort you put into those you, that around you, you know. You really are inspiring to other people too, I feel like. But this is really, this part is really speaking out to me. Bringing more joy, more music, more whatever. I mean, if you're into that, I feel like most people like music. But, you know, just bringing more yeah, joy and appreciating everything you have now. Because I feel like more abundance is coming into your life soon. And the more grateful you are for what you have now and what's going on now in your life, like, I feel like the more good things are coming to you. I don't feel like you're... Oh, hi, I can't. <laughs> I don't feel like you've been, like, too down. I feel like you're, like, you know, okay, but, like... Maybe your mood's been a little just, you know, blah. And spirit's just trying to encourage you. And also, like, appreciate all the stuff you've gone through. Wow. Inspiration and appreciation. I love that. The moon and Liam. And then we have power. The moon in Scorpio. Look at this, like, doorway. I feel like there's a new doorway of opportunity you're headed towards. And I feel like your, your intuition is really calling you to do something to head on a new path, you know, try new things. Yeah, this is a very psychic, and you know, sign here. Um, both of these, your intuition is strong. And like, maybe like when you're laying in bed at night, you like have these ideas of things you want to do. And that's like a sign to like go for it. Like your intuition is really strong. And I feel like it's really guiding you somewhere. That's really going to inspire you. That's going to make you feel really good. All right, Spirit, can we get... Last message with the Astrodice, please. What else for Sagittarius? We have here Leo, the sixth house, and Venus. Yeah, I feel like things are going to change soon when, like, more attention is on you instead of, like, the people around you um, that might have been predominating, like, lately. I feel like you're going to be doing more things that, like make you feel good, make you feel healthy. The six house rules like our daily, our work and stuff like that, as well as our health. So we have health here too. Um, so I feel like overall health is going to be improving. Like and it's the more, it's gonna improve the more attention you put on yourself and do things that you enjoy. And then we have Venus here, which is about like um, relationships, love, like beautifying your life, um, self care, self love. I feel like there's definitely a call here to practice more self-love, to appreciate yourself. And like, you might feel like you haven't been doing anything lately or you're like just in a weird spot, but like you still have accomplished so much. You still do so much. It's so like, you know, I feel like you give yourself a harder time. Like, I think a lot of people do that, right? But like, you really have done so much and you're like so incredible and touch all the people in your life, like so much. And you're like definitely there for them all the time. Um, and I feel like there's some psycho closing with that. And spirit wants you to not like be prepared to like just do more things for yourself. Definitely incorporate into your daily routine more self care, something that you really enjoy, and reach out to friends and like allow like 
them to be there for you because I feel like you're always there for other people and don't be afraid to like talk to your friends ask for help or just you know just chat and let them know what's going on in your life or ask them be like I really need to just get out or something can we hang out you know they're you know they're there for you for sure but yeah really listen to your intuition Sag there's something you're, you're being drawn to do some new opportunity some new doorway some new field of study or just a new hobby just something new that's going to really inspire you but that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope this resonated. I hope it was helpful. Again, I recommend watching your other signs and uh, pick a card to get a more holistic view. If you feel inclined to do so, your intuition is strong. So <laughs> listen to it if you, yeah, just listen to whatever you're, you're feeling. I hope you are feeling well. I hope you have an amazing month. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment. I do offer private readings. My email is down below if you are interested. But I'm just so grateful you're here. I hope you have a great day, a great month. I love you so much. Bye, Sag.